I want to show you a few new features that we have available in CloudRail and also some of the features you may not be aware of. So I've already added a device to AWS IoT Core. It's a temperature sensor. I can go here, see the topic, and see the data come in. So we'll just go to the device metadata page. So here are a few features. So one is that you can enable disable device now. The other thing is you can change the frequency. So this is five seconds, you can change it to one second, or you can even do on change if you want. I'll just update that. The other thing that you can do now is you can change the topic. So if you don't want this topic, you can just change it. Update that. Let's copy that. And we can just paste it here. And you can see the data is coming up. Another thing you can do is you can change the data schema. So we're getting temperature, uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and other variables. Just disable that, change it to 10, update. It's going to just refresh the page. And when I go back in here, I can see. Now let's just go back. Let's just do a new connection. So this is a temperature sensor I've already added in. So let's just go next. And if I've ever already added in, it's gonna give me this alert message. This applies to uh, certain sensors, not all of them. So what I can do is I can add this same sensor to another cloud platform. I'll just go next. Let's do. Now, for example, if I wanted to add it to Viva Insight, I can just type it in here and it will add it to a Viva Insight. Now I wanted to show you another feature of uh, specifically for a Viva Insight is that I can just go to advanced configuration, do custom metadata. Here I can disable the fields that I don't want and then change this. We will just change this to Degree F, uh, change this to my room temp F. And if I have only one field available, if I hit the update button, it will be automatically filled with the device name or device ID. And I just simply hit the create button. And here you can see that it's changed the tag name and the engineering unit for it. Now I can probably go in to a Viva Insight, try and search for that. My room temp F, just add that. And you can see the data is already coming in. 